Excuse me? E excuse me? Sir? Is are you rearranging my <laughs> you placed a Are you rearranging my flower garden, mister? Oh, oh no, don't you look all innocent, buddy. I know what you're Oh no no. I'm sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Put my flower back. Oh, don't you look all shady like that? Oh yo, no, no, you know I'm watching you, buddy. Uh-uh. This guy's gotta go. Sorry. Please vacate the premises. Oh, he, he mad. <laughs> this actually might be this actually might be bad. Oh, he's mad. He's angry too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have my flowers back? Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Wow, my inventory is full of dirt. Uh, that's a, a very abrupt um, intro to a new episode of The Jug World. I am Jug. Um, still wearing that squid head. I think I'm up to three now. Yeah, uh, I'm on the journey to a full stack. Right. Uh, but I, um, I've been gone for about a month. Uh, kind of crazy. Um, it's been like over 33 days I think my app is telling me since the last time I uploaded a video um, and that is due to a lot of things my life has been crazy right now um, I went on spring break I got to hang out with my girlfriend back in my hometown for a week and that was fun we uh, I, I went there with stomach flu uh, which, I, which I found out after the fact and then I passed it to my dad and then my dad passed it to my girlfriend and then my girlfriend passed it back to me and it was the nastiest, sickest, grossest weekend of my, no, not weekend, whole week of my life. It was like nine days of one person or another just, you know, absolutely hurling every couple of hours. It was so bad. That bee got out. I knew someone got out. Come on, buddy. You know what? Be free. Be free. You know? Yeah. You get to go free. You tell everyone how good Jug Pastures, uh, Jug Orchards is, and uh, you bring them back. I'll go get some more business. Business. I mean, yeah, basically, uh, spring break was crazy. Um, we absolutely uh, vomited the place up. It was absolutely horrible, but um, we still got to have fun. I got to see my girlfriend, which is lovely, and uh, it was a good time. Um, and then after that, I uh, came back and school picked up like crazy. I mean, I'm graduating college in a week and a half, which is sort of unbelievable. Uh, I have to figure out a job situation, which is absolutely terrifying, and just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot has been going on. I had some of the busiest weeks, I think, of my entire life, aside from when I was doing theater in high school. Um, I, I had some, some pretty awful, like, 12, 13, 14 hour days on campus that were just, oh, it was too much. It was too much, but I made it through, and actually right now I can finally catch a break. Um, I also just had my birthday the other day. I turned 22 years old, which is um, interesting. I, I didn't know how to feel about it. Uh, in fact, it, it, because of how busy I was, it sort of slipped by. Like, I, oh my gosh, I'm so full under. Um, you know, I'm gonna make another chest just for it out by the project area. Um, that'll, no, no, um, but basically, I it almost slipped through the cracks. Like, I really didn't even realize it was my birthday until about 10 minutes before it was my birthday. And so I didn't know how to feel about it. But then uh, one thing led to another, um, and I got to spend most of the day with my family, and the rest of the day, I ended up being really, really, really productive on some of my project work, and it just felt so fulfilling and great. And so it ended up being actually a pretty good birthday that I wasn't even expecting. But I, I didn't even realize it was my birthday until it was there. Um, things turned out for the better, so. That was really good. Uh, and so, yeah, I've just had a lot on my plate, so I'm sorry it's been a long, long freaking time. How'd you, oh yeah, he's pollinating out here, but he has nowhere to go. If I open the door back up, will you go back into your hive? No? Whatever. Uh, but yeah, so that that is uh, some of the reasons for my absence. Um, I've been dreaming about Jug World. I have some interesting ideas I want to try out here. And I've had a couple of friends begging me for episode 14. So here we are, episode 14, off to a good start uh, with a little Jug Ramble. So uh, let's go. So you may be wondering what I'm up to here and why our... <laughs> Why our little chicken coop is flying up there, flying the coop? Oh my lord! Um, so I was like, oh man, we need a villager set up so I can get mending on my tools because I'm so skittish about even starting to use any of my tools without mending on them because it takes so long early game to get all the levels to, to get those tools set up. 
and uh, I just don't want to lose them. I, I don't even want to get close. So because I'm skittish about that, I'm like, dang, I really need a mending villager like ASAP. And so I'm like, okay, well, let's go get villagers. But then I'm like, I have nowhere to put them. And I want to be able to put them somewhere nice where they'll be safe and that, you know, like I, I can make a build out of. And so then I'm like, oh, okay, I'll make them a little office building here in the city. And then I'm like, wait, I have like hills and trees and the city is on a tiny little plateau. Like, what, what can I even do with the space? There's nowhere I can put this. And so then I got to, you know, terraforming and I'm like, oh, man, I've been doing this for like two hours. This is a lot. And it's just been a snowball of different things just to get this pickaxe and the rest of my tools kind of up to snuff. And so I'm like, oh man, I don't even want to use it right now. I, I've, I've probably made so many iron pickaxes just doing this stuff, just iron tools in general, because I, I don't want to lose these things. I, I have like, it's like reverse FOMO. It's like fear of using them at all. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. Oh man, I, I fell out the window somehow, uh, but the dock down here is such a welcome sight. I, I'm so proud of this. I really, I really do love how this turned out in our last episode. I want to I wanna put this away and not use it, but I actually, I might want to build a stone brick in the pretty near future, so I think I'm going to knock out this stone with the silk touch um, and just clench my teeth the whole time. That's fine. At least it's pretty quick. I should go a lot faster than all the iron digging I was doing. But oh man, yeah, like I said, the, the last month of my life has been one of the craziest, one of the busiest. And in the meantime, not being able to make videos just because I couldn't really sit down and commit and then do the editing and do all I, it couldn't even couldn't even begin to trouble my mind. Um, I was still playing some other games uh, in the meantime, you know, late at night, maybe an hour a day. Um, not even that. <laughs> there were points at which I probably went a week or two without uh, e even getting to like do anything outside of work. But when I was able, um, I actually got to do two pretty awesome things. I, I got to play two amazing games that just kind of came out of nowhere and blew me away. Um, the first of which was a game called Tunic, which came out like two years ago, and it, whoa, oh, oh my lord. It, it, it's one of the games where you go in and you're like, oh, it's like a little like Zelda game. Like, it's it's cute. Oh, it's got like sort of like Dark Souls-y combat. Oh, that's cool. And then you come out learning like a whole new language. Like, I can read and translate to English a whole different alphabet at this point coming out of that game. And every part of it was like natural and rewarding and oh my gosh so if you haven't heard of tunic uh, and you like puzzles and you want to uh, have a completely unique experience you've never ever ever had before you should play the game tunic it is kind of ridiculously good like it is it is so insanely cool at every step i you should totally play the game tunic uh other game i played is called outer wilds which i think probably a lot more of you have heard of um and that game, oh, I finished it about two days ago. I finished the DLC, got the true ending, all that stuff. 100%ed my log, everything. That game, oh my lord. Seriously, two games in a row that were just absolute gems, absolute gold mines of, of like rewarding, puzzle solving, exploration. I just, it really struck just the best. I don't know. It, it was it was so good, and and I'm really glad I got uh, the time and the chance to play those games. I it, two games in a row that I wish I could play again for the first time. And I know that that, that that's exactly what everyone says about the game Outer Wilds. It's like, oh, I wish I could play it again for the first time. Uh, but I they're right. <laughs> it's it was very 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 good. Um, so that's also a little bit of what I've been up to. Um, but now that I've beaten those, I can get back to the games that I've been wanting to play for a while and got postponed because of my spring break, uh, which is I have to beat the Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two Rebirth, and I also have to finish, after that, um, the Persona 3 Remake. Um, it's, I have so much on my plate, I have so many things on my backlog now, and I just, I gotta get to it. I gotta do it. <laughs> I can sort of hear in my voice a different kind of energy that I haven't had in any of my other videos. I, a month has gone by, and honestly, it's felt like I've lived almost a whole life between the last time I recorded a video and now. And so I'm wondering if that, that sort of change of tone I'm even hearing in my own voice, which, it, that's kind of weird to, to be able to analyze my own voice and be like, dang, this is this is different than usual. Maybe I've, maybe I have lived a whole life since the last time I really got to listen to my own voice. Um, it's kind of cool. I, uh, I just feel energized. I feel excited. There's a lot of exciting stuff on my horizon and, um, kind of here for it. I'm definitely terrified of it, all of it, uh, but I'm, I'm here for it. I can't wait. Ooh, look at all that smooth stone. Oh, let's go. But yeah, so now we have this whole area over here, uh, sans chickens, um, 
all terraformed out, perfectly flat, beautiful. And all of this is going to hopefully one day be developed into something incredible. But now that I have this sort of canvas here, I can start working on more areas in our little town here and then hopefully get a villager set up. One thing at a time, once again, Jug is skipping steps. He's, he's building the big builds before he has any sort of tools or anything like that. This is really bad. It took me 10 times longer than it should have, but eh, screw it. Let's go. Welcome to Jug's Super Flat Survival Series. Um, I <laughs> totally filled in all of the gaps here, uh, save for a little bit for the road, which I know is gonna be missing. Um, but yeah, no, everything here is filled in. Uh, I did some terraforming around here. I mean, there used to be um, a whole beach, like cave in here thing, uh, and, and it's gone. It's gone, so I, uh, I got rid of it. It doesn't look perfect yet. I'll reshape it as need be, but um, yeah, things are things are schmoovin'. Uh, made lots of room here for new industry, and uh, I'm excited to see what I can do with it. But um, I'm imagining, I'm envisioning right here on this corner a tall office building where we can put all of the villagers to work, hard at work. Um, I, I don't know, doing whatever villagers do uh, in an office. Whatever businessmen do in an office, I don't know, like crypto mining or something. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll have our we'll have our Bitcoin mining villagers um, all stacked up in the office. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. All stacked up in the office here, um, doing their work, and I think that'll be um, an interesting and sort of unique way to organize our villagers. It's not dark enough yet, is it? Oh man. Uh, yeah, just a, a unique way to organize our villagers. I wanted something that would fit in this area that isn't just a, a normal villager trading hall, which is something I've never actually built. I think I mentioned it maybe in the last episode. I've never done the whole villager thing before, save for, like, getting a mending villager. Um, but I've never done a legitimate villager trading setup before. Um, yeah, that's always been on one of my friend's, uh friends to do lists and I've never I've never been the one to take care of that so I'm kind of excited to figure that out and I know that there is a village not too far in that direction um the cursed savannah has one upside and that is that there is a nearby village uh just across the way uh connected up by water too which is very very convenient so um that's where I'll be grabbing them from but I'll probably only grab two and make a villager breeder which is another something that I've never done before um, so that's exciting. Look forward to it. Every episode I say I'm gonna get rid of this farm soon, but uh, I never do it. And I don't want to because I like it. It's cute. Uh, and it will go. It will go. This is... <laughs> check your check off your bingo cards, your, your jug, jug world bingo. Because uh, this is me saying this episode that this farm's gonna go. And it's definitely not. Um, it's not anytime soon. But yeah, let it be known. Let it be known. I fulfilled my duty. I've mentioned it. <laughs> I don't have fortune yet, so I'm actually going to save these in here for when I do get fortune. Um, should hopefully be kind of soon, but you never know. None of the activities I do get me levels. That's the worst thing. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be digging dirt up here. I'm not I'm not going mining for anything special. <sighs> I'm not even smelting. I'm, I'm not feeding the animals right now. So I'm not making any progress toward my tool upgrades, but that, that's okay. We can take it slow. Got to top up on food here. Let's go grab some... Uh, sugar from sugar coast over here and uh get ourselves some more pumpkin pie oh yeah we're, with how infrequently i load this chunk um <laughs> i'm surprised there's this much grown uh but i'll i will take it i accept this i say this every time i leave the base but what a nice little view coming in i can't wait to see this developed out even more delicious delectable pumpkin pie honestly i'm glad to, uh, blah, 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 blah. try that again honestly i'm glad uh, I can't speak today. Honestly, I'm glad I grabbed all of that smooth stone um, because now I can make lots more sidewalks. That was a limiting factor before and how much I could really build out. I, man, this little label mod is so good, but whenever I leave the chunk and come back in, it just picks random ones to make not work. So uh, I might need to get rid of it. Dang it. I, I just spent so long showcasing it in the last uh, episode, I think. And so like, what? man. But as I was saying, lots more sidewalks in the works, which is fantastic. I can, yeah, even just templating out the roads in the city and the sidewalks, then I know what spaces I have to build with and that'll get the creative juices flowing. So I, oh man, yeah, let's lay some more of these out. Honestly, yeah, I'm cool with something like this maybe for the footprint for the villager office. I think, yeah, I think that gives us just enough space. Maybe make it a little bit longer back this way. Um, 
I think that gives us just enough space to really make something happen here. I can never have enough of the actual smooth stone, called smooth stone, not the stone that I call smooth stone still. Um, can never have enough of that. So let's smell some more of that up. Yeah, that looks great. Just picture something right in the middle there, like a, not, not even like a towering structure, but just like maybe a multi-level little office facility there. Uh, maybe kind of like a, <laughs> since Chicago style, it's any big city style, but like like sort of rustic building um, that's been transformed into a, maybe like a modernistic or like minimalist office space on the interior, something like that. I, I think that, that could be pretty cool. Let's, let's give it a shot. Uh oh, I'm getting too ambitious. I wanted to make a little courtyard in front, make it like an L-shaped office building. Uh, and the courtyard, oh, I really like, I really like his vibe. Uh, we can have a little tree in the middle and it'll be one where you can walk around. There might be like little benches here for people to sit on. And then maybe the entrance is like a corner entrance right here, or it might be an entrance sort of on this face of it right here. But I like the idea of the building maybe curving just slightly uh, to fit this courtyard shape. Uh, but then obviously this courtyard got way bigger than I thought. It, I thought it was just going to be like a little thing right here, but then I'm like, I want to be able to put maybe like a little tree there. So it got bigger and then the office space needed to get bigger. And I kind of want to have like sort of textured walls with that, that are maybe two blocks deep around the whole thing. And so then I had to make the entire footprint of the block bigger. And I'm like, oh no. So things are getting ambitious, but I think we can keep it under control. Um, th this is definitely going to be a project that'll span maybe multiple episodes, but um, I'm okay with that. Uh, so far, I kind of like where this is going though. Uh, I, I think it's going to end up being pretty dang cool. So let's keep the ball rolling. Okay, I've made a decent amount of progress and I'm probably going to call it for today. That doesn't mean I'm calling it for the video, it just means I'm calling it for this particular recording sesh because I want to go work on some other projects, but I will show you what I've got and shaboom. This is the beginning of the front sort of the first level. I, I a lot of buildings, uh, at least here in Chicago, have a sort of like a rustic first level and then everything up above it is sort of this uniform like uh, that, that's where the windows are, that's where everything is, but generally the first level, if it isn't a storefront, you can't really see into it. Um, it just, I guess for privacy reasons, for business reasons, but um, I really like the idea of like an arched first level, and then maybe like a line of slabs to differentiate it from the second level, and then all the floors above it are just normal, you know, like outlooking windows, stuff like that. But um, I think I've got a pretty decent set of blocks here that I'm using now. So imagine this uh, mirrored over to here, maybe filled up with that um, cyan terracotta, or may maybe even like a like a window. Not sure yet, but um, that is sort of the general look I think I'm going for for this little villager trading office building. I I think I like this a lot. I uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep at it um, in the next recording session, and we'll see what happens then. I'll see you guys, uh, for me, in another day, for you, in about two seconds. Three, two, one, boop. Another day, another dollar, here on the Jump World. Uh, so right now, we're going on a little bit of a mini-adventure for clay. Um, I can't wait to go dig up some more clay. Uh, it's not like I just did this twice yesterday off camera and need to do it a third time, because why do I keep wanting to build with blocks that need clay? Uh, every time, every time. Half of this river was clay. You, you could probably like spot a couple of the spots where I've, I've dug up the clay deposits already. It's, oh my gosh, it's so bad. So once again, we're, we're digging clay. That's that's probably a, I don't know, it's our favorite activity here in the drug world. We, we love doing this. It's just, I mean, I do it all the time, so surely I must love it, right? Yeah, hooray. Yeah, I need a decent amount of clay still. Um, and then when I grab that, we will go back and I can show you guys what I've been cooking up off camera. That's the worst thing, I mentioned it, but every time we want to get clay, we have to go out farther and farther and farther just to be able to find it. So, so frustrating. But, you know what? That, that's fine. Eventually, eventually we'll, we'll have easier travel around the world. Eventually we'll find a mesa biome and our, our woes will be a thing of the past. I'm sorry if my voice sounds crunchy or different from yesterday, I just woke up. And oh boy, I, I dude, I've been having such bad allergies. Like spring is sprung, yo. And um, yeah, every time I even like open a window or step outside my room, um, I, I start sneezing and I, my throat gets all crunchy. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So that's that's a good time. Yeah, I'm literally blinking through like crusty eyes right now. It's so bad. It's, it's I have such horrible spring allergies. You guys have any fun allergies? Any weird allergies? Got a crazy zany allergy. Put it in the comments, I'm gonna read it.
I want to hear about it. I'm not saying that spring allergies are allergies are weird or anything, but but if you guys if you have weird ones, I want to hear those. I want to hear them. or just normal ones. You know what? Just tell me about allergies. Allergies in, in broad sense, in general. Do you a chew when you honk shoe? I need to know this. There was something kind of sweet about uh, waking up this morning. Um, I woke up to a call from my girlfriend, uh, and she was like, "You gotta get up. You gotta rise and grind, gamer." And I was like, "What? What? Chill." Hi, hon. Relax. What's going on? She was like, go to your mailbox right now. And I was like, yo. And uh, her her birthday gift for me had arrived. Um, and I was like, y yo? Okay. And so I went downstairs and I grabbed my mail. And it was this little red bubble package. And I was like, okay, I'm interested. And, uh, and I brought it back up, gave her a call so she could see me uh, open it up. And... It is a Hermitcraft t-shirt, which is like the coolest gift ever. It's it's super like basic, like covert, which is exactly what I like. Like it's a, it's just a black shirt with a Hermitcraft logo across it, just like in the Minecraft font. And I freaking love it. I can't wait to wear it to class. I can't wait to wear it to work. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I love it. I, it was such a sweet gift for her because she knows how much I love Hermitcraft. Um, and she hears me talk about it all the time. And she's like, this guy clearly likes Hermitcraft. Happy birthday. And I was like, dude, this is the this is the coolest gift ever. Super, super sweet to think of that. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a happy boy. Yeah, this is how I'm, I'm wearing it right now. Uh, so let the Hermitcraft t-shirt bless this Jug World episode. This is a cool little area. But no getting sidetracked. I'm on a clay quest. And a clay quest alone. I think there's a new way to get clay with the mud blocks. Like you can, I think you can dry them out and get clay from it. Um, but it seemed like a strange process if I remember correctly. It's like, I, I don't know how how much better of a setup that is than just going and finding it, or especially going to a mesa. Especially when you have like a beacon or something like that. Like, yeah. So I, I don't know the, the clay farming method um, and if it's a, a viable solution for our, our trials here. I'm sorry, I'm not over this Hermitcraft shirt. This thing is so cool. <laughs> I wish you could see it. It's so sweet. It, it is seriously the coolest thing ever. I, uh, yeah, I'm wearing it to class tomorrow for sure. I always hate these clay patches that, like, go under the terrain, like, on the side of the, the rivers here. Some of them will go, like, four or five blocks into it, and then there's just like, a weird slice taken out of things that I don't like. But yeah, look at this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the whole thing is is in there. That's so grody. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, because then you gotta like swim in here and like get all the pockets of it. Just like, eh. I need to find a mesa. Oh, looks like my inventory is all full of clay. Let's go. It's getting real dark, so after this deposit, I think I'll head back to the base and sleep up the <laughs> little magma cave. Okay. Man cave. Because I'm trying to stay underwater in case there are any like skellies on the surface, but then I, I can't stay underwater for too long or I'll start losing health so that when I'm on the surface I'm vulnerable. It's a delicate balance to strike, but we're doing it. Alright, excellent. Let's get back home and start smelting this up. And then you guys can see uh, the long-awaited progress that I have been making on the villager offices. It's kind of nice just taking the river farther and farther and farther than I ever had before. Um, I'd really love to see more of this world. Just so tied down by my my base building endeavors that I haven't really gotten to go out and explore, other than the cactus quest, which was <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. All right, terracotta is cooking. Take a peek. This is what I have so far, and I'm really happy with it. Um, so obviously nothing is finished. It's all in sort of design stage, but. Um, I am liking what we've got here so far. Imagine this as like the first layer and then like a, a different, a, level one is gonna be this design and then on top of it, it's gonna be more like just kind of uniform windows all across. Um, like I mentioned, like old sort of rustic office style building uh, with maybe like apartments or even just like we're rented out offices above. Um, and when you walk in, through the sliding glass, not the sliding glass, the, the, the revolving door. There we go. <laughs> when you walk in through the revolving door, you're in the reception and there'll be maybe like a villager right behind here, or maybe something else, armor stand or something. We have a little um, little water uh, a water effect there. We've got um, the hiring offices through here, which we're not gonna go into yet, but 
we've got the entryway, and this will be the beginning of the villager office space. So we can have like little cubicles, each of which has a villager in there, and I think it's gonna be really good. But, um, water feature, that's what it's called. I was like, water effect, water, what? A little water feature here, just like a, I was thinking it's like the, the water that runs down the, the stones into a little basin kind of thing that like some fancy like hotels or restaurants have. And, uh, and yeah, so we have our, ourselves a little water feature here. We've got a little mosaic floor. Um, and I, I really like how this is going. Obviously, yeah, the revolving door looks goofy. Uh, but you gotta get in somehow, and I really wanted to put in a revolving door because I love revolving doors, and so a revolving door it is. Also, the chickens are still here. Uh, <laughs> this is the uh, this is the chicken department where they. <laughs> so they're still here. We'll need to figure out a way to get them out and relocate them eventually here. But um, but yeah. So this is why I need all that terracotta. Uh, very annoying. Very frustrating. But. If things are moving, things are moving and things are grooving. And I'm really, really, really happy with this. I am going to keep building it up. Um, I think I want to at least finish, you know, this terracotta wall and maybe style up the exterior um, arches here a little bit more um, before I end the episode. But I think this is fantastic progress uh, toward our villager offices here. So let's keep going. Perhaps I'll actually have to see how we're doing on time uh, by the time that I get this ready to go. But I may also work on a villager breeder um, before the end of the episode. I'm not sure. I just have a design in mind. Um, and depending on the struggle and how much time it takes, it might go into this episode, it might go into the next. So I'm not entirely sure on that yet, but that might be in the works. Who knows? Greetings, sir. I come seeking your wool. Um, <laughs> this is the only sheep I know of anywhere nearby. Uh, and so, we need to get some villager beds cooking up. Um, and that's the only guy that I know of. <laughs> so you might need to rely on um, crafting wool from string, from spiders. Uh, we'll see how much of that we have. We need a sheep farm too, like pretty soon here. Cause that, I mean, that's the only sheep I know of. There's not another, not another sheep to be seen near nor far. So, um, that might be in order in a future episode, uh, but for right now, I just gotta get enough for beds and a few carpets as well. Let's see how many spider drops we have. Probably not many. Oh, enough for... not much. Um, enough for a bed. And we need four and four pieces of carpet for this, uh, this villager breeder, so yikes. It'll be okay, we'll figure something out. But in the meantime, um, making great progress here. I, uh, I'm doing stuff sort of in the backstage area right now. But uh, we now have the walls all up to um, their arches on the outside. And I think that we're going to have the ceiling of this first level right here. So we actually were able to save quite a lot of that by um, you know, not needing anything above this line right here. So that's fantastic. And then we have a little bit more freedom to detail the outside how we want to. So that is good news. We make each arch slightly shallower like that. Then we just have a one slab gap between. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I think that might be that might be cool. Let's experiment with it. That's the wrong block. Yeah, I kind of dig that. In fact, I almost wonder if we could take off the top row there and then just start building with a different block entirely. That could be that could be the key. Yeah, I'm looking at that and I like that actually so much. It, we went through the iterations and this looks fantastic. Very very good. Place this block right here. But yes, very very good. Um. I think this is a great basis and we can totally start building something um, slightly different coming off the top here. It's it's time. We gotta move these guys. <laughs> They're now actively getting in the way of the construction of this building. So it's time. Um, oh boy, I don't have an axe on me. <sighs> Alright, it's time. Come on buddies. Let's go! <laughs> Release the chickens! Oh my gosh, this is awesome! <laughs> Look at all of them! Oh, that's really cool. That's so funny! <laughs> oh, I love it! Oh, lo wonderful. One there's, there, there are more. They're still coming. Yeah, let's open it up, you guys. There we go, everyone's invited. Come on, boys. The girls, I guess. You're, yeah. Come on, girls! <laughs> I love this. I think that's most of them. Yeah, if there are any stragglers, oh, there's a straggler. You're free. You're free chicken. You're free. Um. 
<laughs> this is awesome. Okay, okay. Uh, for right now, y'all get your own little hole. Um, I promise eventually we'll move you somewhere a little bit more proper. But for right now, um, you're going in the hole. Oh, oh lord, I need to keep this in my offhand. There we go. Because I go another walking away. Uh, so the chicken hole will be right here. And <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so funny. I, it's like a little mini game. I've got to push them all in. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, that was more efficient, but I, I wanted to avoid this. Oh, oh heavens. <laughs> okay. Uh, escape plan. Boom. Boom. Yes, okay, okay. <laughs> we have a few stragglers remaining, but honestly, not so bad. This will do... <laughs> this will do for now. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was an adventure. Oh, my gosh. You are all that remains, my friend. All that remains. Be free. That's crazy that we had a hill that went from all the way down there to all the way up here that I had a little chicken farm on top of like a day ago. That is that is pretty bizarre. Um, it, yeah, wow. In industry's moving in, you guys. That's what the Lorax taught all of us. When big business starts to move in, the animals gotta move out. <laughs> that ended well. That ended well in the Lorax. Big. Yeah, I'm totally mining all of these without going and making another axe. Um, resources are sort of getting low. I probably need to do another mining trip soon. It's been a, a good few in-game days since... Uh, <laughs> the days being 24-hour cycles. It's been a while since I went down into the mines. Um, so we definitely got to bring that back. Oh, Get these eggs out of my inventory. Uh, yeah, because my iron supply is down to less than a stack. And... Lord knows I only have one diamond, so <laughs> I, I'm not really mentally prepared uh, for making more tools at the moment until we uh, we go and get some more resources for that. So definitely having a mining trip in the future, whether that's on or off camera remains to be seen, but yeah. And in the interest of getting some levels, let's go feed our cows real quick. Good gravy, Jug Pastures is popping off. We got... We got a colony in here, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, man. It's humane, guys. It's humane. Okay, but now that all that is said and done, chickens have been moved, levels have been gained, which, yeah, that, that was like a level and a half there. We should do that more often. Um, but, uh, yes, we can finally go through and finish the back area here. Now that the chicken platform has been moved, the chicken hole. And, yeah, uh, after that, I think we're in good shape to maybe end the episode. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up? The business isn't open yet. I'm sorry, but we're not open. We're not open yet. Sorry, you guys got to go. I, uh, the business is not open. You are trespassing. Um, so I'm just going to have to ask you to please go in peace. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, he said, uh-huh. Thank you. See, he understands. Thank you for complying. I appreciate that. Yep. See, there, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Later, buddy. Sir. Sir, you're not welcome here, sir. Please leave. All right, that's it, buddy. Security! Escort this man off the premises! Uh, we asked security to uh, gently escort him off the premises. And even though he is gone, style is here. Look, behold, the full 360. Oh, yes, I I really like the way that looks. Oh, I can't wait to have more stuff on top of it. It's going to be so cool. But I've got all of that there um, in place. At some point, yeah, we'll work out maybe something to put in here to make this look nice. Uh, I experimented with a bunch of stuff and I just couldn't find anything I really cared for. But who knows, e even, even as is, it looks fine. But uh, we'll figure something out, we'll figure something out. It's gonna look great. Um, but honestly, this, uh, I'm really happy with what we've done here. Um, and I can't wait to get working on the next episode as soon as I can. Um, I have a lot of interesting plans for that one too. So this was great. This is a very productive Jug World episode. I have been Jug. This has been my world and you guys have been a fantastic audience. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See ya.